DIY layout boat out of an old V bottom boat. And uh, it's pretty easy to do. It's not too bad. First, you gotta cut down the transom. Now, of course, this is gonna be straight up and down. So you'll cut the side of the transom, but when you get down here, you wanna keep that so you can lay it over and rivet it into your wall. But you'll probably want an angle so you can put like your mud motor on there or something. So as these boats go, they have a little bit of a straighter line and then they curve in. And so where it starts to curve in more aggressively, that's where you cut down the top of your boat. And then you fold it in together and rivet it. Now, these seals right here, or I'm sorry, these creases and stuff, you just put JB Weld on them and it works pretty good. It keeps a pretty tight seal. And most of the time, like this part of the boat's not underwater anyway. Now for the front, so you can crawl in and out and have that low profile effect, you gotta cut the nose out. Now you're gonna wanna try to make sure that your nose is gonna be level, if not slightly, down towards the front of the boat so you can crawl in and out. And then you cut the whole front off until you want the beginning of your cockpit. All right, so you cut it up and down and then all the way around. Now, once you have this cut out and your slit where your two pieces are gonna meet, where the boat makes a more aggressive turn, and then you just simply, you just push it, fold it down. Now, once you get it folded down, come to your back section and you mark it off about where you want it. And then you can start trimming it up. But be sure you leave a little extra tab so you can fold this over and rivet it back in to give it structure. These will fold pretty easily. If you've got a thicker boat, you can cut little slits into it and it makes it easier to bend. Um, I cut those first and I probably shouldn't have because the other side I didn't have to do it. So once you get this folded down, this will start to take your form. And then that's when you can come up here and fold these two in together and you may have to do a little trimming and then you rivet it together. Now I took a piece of the gunnel from the front. I think that's what that's called, gunnel rail, and then splice that on there for structure and you know hide that gap so once you get up here same thing is you bend this down you just push it down you put pressure on it to give you that angle now this is the tougher part you gotta once you get your front laid on and i just use pieces of the front of the boat to cover the top i haven't finished the nose yet um you know, you just, again, give yourself room to fold it over and rivet it back in. And then I splice this in with a piece of aluminum, an old ladder I just cut up. Again, your JB Weld, you'll just put into those creases and that'll keep the water out. Now up here, we'll go to the inside. I don't know if you can see it or not, but this is angled. And so, got a piece of angle in there that I riveted to the top first and then brought it up and then I put my face piece on. Now getting around these corners is a little tough. Again, I'll take JB Weld and I'll fill all these creases in. Now for the most part, like all these creases on this boat are above water. So really crawling in and out is about the main time and running the motor in the back is when any of these seams will be underwater. So, and then on the front of here, you take the foam for like setting posts and you dump that foam in here and that, see how that gives a little bit of weight. Once that foam's in there, pushes up, that'll really stiffen all this up so you can climb in and out off the front of it. Um, these little boats here, I mean, you can find on Marketplace or Craigslist or whatever for 150, 200 bucks all day long and you know it's aluminum so it's gonna last forever um, structurally these things are pretty tough and uh i run uh, i ran like a seven horse um mud motor on these um it's rated this boat's probably rated for like a nine nine outboard and i would say it's probably hold it still because you still have your brace in the back for the transom 
And then back here, I mean, this is still real stiff and strong. Now, if you like the county line boats, which I think is super cool, what I did with this one is again, I cut off the top, but I cut the top all the way off to the back. And then my access from the top, I simply rivet it into where this natural rib is right there. And I've got it braced up in there. And then the front's open, just like throw decoys and stuff in. And then on the back, where I folded it in, cut the transom out, folded it in, a piece of aluminum angle, again from an old ladder, and then put a piece of aluminum here, just sealed it off. Now I got a piece of aluminum here from an old sign. You could probably use a piece of plywood, it'll work just fine. And then again, like structurally these things are great. And then as far as like all the seams and stuff, they're rarely underwater. And as a duck hunter getting in and out of the boat, you're gonna have water in there anyway. So I think they're pretty cool. And again, like these boats, you can get cheap. This one I think is 14 foot long. And that one is a 12 footer, but more of a county line boat and more of a layout boat. And then as far as the height on that one, uh, it's probably like maybe, maybe a little over a foot, but you know, once you get weighed in there, draft is going to be 12 inches or less. So, and they cover up good. Now this is a boat that I made for a buddy of mine. Same thing just cut it down bent it over and then we put doors on his and that's what he lays down in and he hunted out of this and all season and he loved it so this one again you cut the transom down and then you bend it over to foot now this one was a little longer so i actually cut about two feet of the back end of this boat off now this is just marine grade plywood again sealed it down at the bottom um, his did leak a little bit and then we sealed it up a little more but again that's still pretty structurally pretty sound so if you can keep the transom the aluminum transom on the back you're probably better off but a wood transom will work just fine and his i think his is like almost a 10 horse and it pushes it just fine but again these things are cheap and they're lightweight and you know if you mess up the first time you're out 150 bucks but usually it's nothing a piece of plywood or a rivet won't repair but again layout boat like this thing hides really well so hope you like what you saw thanks